some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in San Diego, California, with the frauditor known as Dumbass Elmo, as he attempts to uh, gain entry into the local courthouse, and, uh, well, it doesn't work out so well for him, as he is turned away by by uh, several police officers who know the law better than he does, especially when it comes to the judge's orders. Yeah, uh, leave it to dumbass Elmo to think that he knows the law better than anybody else. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking show on the road, shall we? What's going on, folks? First Amendment Network by Auditing America. I'm out with Liberty Lens Audits. We're in San Diego. And this is Superior Court. Excuse me. Stop. Quick question. Is there an order by a judge that says that we can't film in yes. common areas? Why, yes, dumbass Elmo. There is a policy put out there by the judges that won't allow idiots like you to go into the courthouse and film whatever they think they can film. And that means everything. So you might want to take a look at this document that can, is easily accessible on the San Diego County uh, Superior Court website. But I don't expect dumbass Elmo to uh, look up anything like this. I mean, he's not known for his intelligence nor his uh, ability to do proper research. You know, not at all. But what he is known for is his ability to Batter women to no end. Yeah, that's exactly what he's known for, and any other auditor will tell you that. Is there any way, you, if you can get us in writing, I really appreciate okay. that. If you guys are going to record, you got to be outside the building, but I'll get you that. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Judge ordered tyrants. 50% of our courthouses are like that in America, guys. Is it truly tyrannical for the judges to create orders that uh, protect attorney-client privilege or help protect jurors from being identified and targeted by morons like you who would much rather have them eat dirt on the ground than, uh, well, do their duty as an American citizen and complete their jury duty tasks as in, well, determining the guilt or innocence of people like you. These guys will arrest you in a heartbeat. Thank you. Uh, Sheriff, real quick, before you get going. Don't you think, don't you think uh, this kind of goes against the whole purpose of you being a police officer and protecting our rights? The very First Amendment. Freedom of, freedom of the press. We have the right to work on our story in common areas of the courthouse, but you guys are not allowing us. I've seen this before with dumbass Elmo. Uh, he has no gumption to go to the very top and question the judges on this. Instead, he questions the loyalty and everything like that of the officers who have to enforce it. Yeah, don't bother doing real investigative journalism by going to the actual source of the orders and figuring out why this is. No, you got to badger the ones that are uh, tasked with uh, keeping the losers out like yourself. Yeah, that's about the best you can do, dumbass Elmo. No courage whatsoever to go to the top. Even if the judge breaks the law or is disorderly or whatever, the, uh, is, it's your, you're the one in charge. You know, the judge doesn't go and arrest people. He, he's just the judge. And we have the three branches of our of our government, which uh, you guys are not in charge of making laws. This is the judicial system. So the judge has no authority uh, to interfere with the freedom of the press in our public area in this building. But all around the country, uh, we ha we're finding out that at least 50% of uh, our courthouses around the whole nation have uh, illegal orders from a judge uh sp specifying to you guys to uh, enforce these type of uh 
unconstitutional policies. Uh, no one would be engaged in breaking the law by just filming in a common area. Uh, First of all, uh, dumbass Elmo, uh, you do realize that the Supreme Court has already ruled on the public forum doctrine when it comes to courthouses, right, dumbass Elmo? In other words, the judges do have the right to say if they can film or not film within their building. And this is a security measure, like I explained before. But you're also missing out on the fact that uh, there is a procedure you can go to to request permission to film in these courthouses. You just never bother to do that. I wonder why. The Second Amendment obviously is gone. No one can come in here with a firearm. No one knows the Third Amendment, sir. I can go around with a million dollars. No one. And I haven't asked you, Calderon. And I'm not going to because if you don't know it, I don't want you to look bad in front of thousands. <laughs> but no one knows the Third Amendment. The Fourth Amendment is gone. I'm going in order. There's none of our amendments are literally allowed in the building where they talk about our, our amendments. Every time you go to jail or get arrested, they, uh, they always say you have the right to this and to that. But, sir, can I have your name and batch number, please? Deputy Gannon, 4758. Go, go ahead, brother. Um, so, I was wondering, would you uphold my right to come in there and do my story? And, and do I, what? Do my story. I have to do a story, and I would love to exercise my First Amendment right to we have in there. We have millions of viewers that, that tune into our platform. So Let's do a little bit of fact-checking, shall we, dumbass Elmo? I know you're afraid of the facts, but here they are uh, for everybody to see. I know your uh, main channel, Auditing America, has been demonetized, and therefore you are now relying on this backup channel of yours, uh, First Amendment Network or something like that. And, uh, well, according to this right here, you barely have a million views. Now, this particular video, which was put out a day ago, uh, only has... Well, just above 7,000 views. So dumbass Elmo wouldn't know the truth if it hit him in the head with a brick. Like, I mean, I don't know if they want us to come dressed up like this guy. You're, you're looking very good, brother. I don't know if they want us to come dressed up like that with a pound of makeup and our bigger cameras. But we just, I, we don't get it, brother. I'm telling uh, Sheriff Calderon over here. This is the courthouse. You guys uh, over here are not in charge of making laws. This is the enforcement side of it. So why are you uh, guys uh, enforcing an unconstitutional order which interferes with the very First Amendment, freedom of the press? We have our right to work on our story in the common area, at least of this building. Do you guys have any press credentials on you or anything like that? Well, I mean, you can look us up, sir. We're all over the internet. We're, we're, we're well known. So. I'm not. Um, what story I, I, are you well, we we have uh, a, a lot of uh, cases that we follow uh, from from this uh, from this city, San Diego, and from Los Angeles, and oh, actually, we go around the whole country. But right now, we're focusing in California. Hey, dumbass Elmo! If your audience really truly cared about you, then your ch backup channel would have about as many views as your main channel at this point. But the numbers clearly show that you just don't have the game that you used to. I mean, there's just so much that's come out about you that nobody wants to listen to you that much anymore. Not even your fellow auditors. I mean, geez, you're a pariah even among them. Many, many minutes later. Hello. Uh, nothing. We were having a nice conversation with the officers, with the okay. sheriffs over here. And we were wondering if it's okay with you guys that we get uh, 10 minutes in, a, in the common area right here uh, of the courthouse. We're not trying to go anywhere. We're just trying to finish up our, our story and really get going. Unfortunately, we can't allow that. And, uh, and it's nothing to do with us. It's having to do with the court orders. So this presiding judge sets the orders of what allowed in and out of the courthouse. They do, they do, but those orders can't go against our rights, uh, they, Sergeant. Like I'm telling you, it's his orders that we enforce. So his orders are no 
was videoing the photographs inside the courthouse. So he can he can modify it. You can always go up there and ask to see if you grant permission to video. Well, well the thing is, these rights are guaranteed by the Constitution. So you know, dumbass Elmo, uh, you've got this fetish with the Third Amendment. Uh, can you tell us all 27 amendments and even let us know what the seven articles of the Constitution are and every single uh, clause that comes with these articles? I bet you couldn't because you only seem to focus on the third. I guess that's as high as you can count. A little longer than a few minutes later. Who makes the oh, but he can enforce his rules and orders to his mm -hmm. military. Yes, he can do that. He can do that, but he has to. Uh, so, uh, Sergeant you, Butler, he can. You, you Sergeant said, Butler, let me, let me speak, say something no, real quick. You you talk, let me speak now. He Just can make like policies, partner, but they, those okay, policies can go there, against right? our race, because sir. You won't let me speak. Go ahead. But go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Talk, speak. So I'll. I'll, I'll shut up. And you were providing a copy of the presiding order. You're not allowed. If you want to be out here, video tip. Go for it. Once you get past the doorway, you are not allowed to videotape. If you do continue to videotape, once you go past our doorway, I just want to warn you, we will confiscate your phone. We will put it into evidence to show that you were violating the court order. Do you know that once you lose okay. your phone, you can disable your phone with Apple Care? Are you familiar with Apple Care? We're, we're in con I can zoom in from here to there. He said that he would literally steal our evidence and keep it for himself. You're a tyrant, sir. Oh, man. Yeah, dumbass, Elmo, why don't you go ahead and do that? And I'm sure they can charge you with obstruction of justice and everything else like that if you want extra charges. Yeah, go ahead and do it then. And this coming from a rather pathetic uh, person who calls himself a man, but, you know, I don't really see any of the qualities of a man in him whatsoever. Uh, yeah. Uh, and his criminal record definitely proves that with his uh, battery of women right there. Yeah, dumbass Elmo, we all know about that. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?